Also, too, Nancy and Ginger, I feel kind of, I don't know why they introduced them, because did they ever get, uh, reach the other kids? Like, did they ever yeah. join that yes. group? They did? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Like, what's That's their what deal? That's we were talking about, in... where, like, uh, Nancy was, like, with, I think, is it Chuck? Right, yes. Mm, yeah, yes. it's Chuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Chuck, one of the football players, and right. he's like, oh, baby, I missed you so much, I didn't mm -hmm. think I'd see you again. And Ginger is there, like, great, can't believe we had this reunion. <laughs> so, like, yeah. what's their deal in, like, normal Archie comics? Like, how do they fit in? They're, they're like, a pretty new addition, I'm pretty sure. Like, mm. the same as uh, Kevin, where they're like, oh, it's the first gay character, openly gay, in Archie. They should have and made so most like, gay. I, I am not aware of Kevin. Gays. <laughs> but they talk about Kevin, because Kevin is the one who punches who does he punch again? Oh, is it Reggie? Keller? It's probably Reggie. I'm I, willing I think to that's accept his, it's that's Reggie. That's his last name. Oh, okay, yes, sure. yeah, he, he punches Reggie. Yep. Yeah, so he's, like, openly gay, and I think gotcha. that's also why Reggie is so much like, don't touch me, in the kind yeah. of subtext there. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, but see, the fact that they're like, but, like, I see. I've never read any of the comics that have Kevin in it. I've only seen Riverdale with Kevin in it, and oh, Kevin's okay. entire character is being a theater nerd who can sing well, <laughs> like, and gotcha. he's gay also. Really breaking down stereotypes there. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there was a so there was a scene um, where so when Keller punches uh, Reggie, the butler is watching on the camera. And I, I literally was about to talk about that where he's like, oh, he has military training. I'm like, <laughs> do you, okay. th there was a movie that did that and it was like, open up an investigation on so-and-so. Like, I, I'm, I'm trying I'm to remember. I'm getting more details. I, 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 that's all the details that, that I have. Like, I feel is like it was some title? Batman. <laughs> it, I, I thought it would have something to do with Batman. Was it a Jason Bourne movie? No, that does no, not have anything to do no. with Batman. I I don't I don't remember what it was. I just remember it was like What's the relation to the Kevin the, and military stuff? Because this person took out Oh, oh, it was Chuck. Okay, I remember. It was Chuck. That's right. Mm. So so the the Asian character in the beginning of the series Chuck took out uh, a bad guy and then Casey was like Open an investigation on something Wu. I think that was her last name. But yeah, All right, I got it. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm, I guess I'm glad we got there. We're not leaving that cliffhanger. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, oh, I got yeah. it. Reggie Ooh, seems I... like Reggie seems I... like a character who's gonna live way too long in this book. Like, he's gonna keep doing bad stuff to other people that gets other people killed. Like, have you guys ever seen uh, Train to Busan? Reggie kind of reminds me of that, um, the, not the conductor, but, like, that businessman who keeps telling people to, like, close doors while other people are running towards doors. Hmm. So it's like, yeah, and then, like, yeah, at the I, end... I really recommend that movie, by the way. Oh, yeah, Train to Busan's great. Uh, it's oh, on okay. Netflix. Oh, uh, but yeah, it's, he seems like the guy who's like, or Reggie seems like the guy who's just always going to be constantly sacrificing others so he can get out. And it's not until like way too late into the story that he finally gets some kind of comeuppance. I mean, I'm kind of fine with that. I want to see how many people he can get killed. Like it's, it's an effective technique to get your audience to not like the character, but like, I don't like the character, so I want 
to see like some consequences to that. So you're gonna keep reading? <laughs> I guess <laughs> I have to now. Is this how you, is this how you bought multiple volumes of The Walking Dead? <laughs> yes. <laughs> They kept introducing people who, like, had to, I had to see get theirs in the end. And then, like, halfway through, they get theirs. They're like, I'm halfway through. I'm not going to stop reading the book. Man, and then they introduce really... a new person who has to get theirs. <laughs> you're really revealing to writers what they need to, like, add into every story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you want me to keep reading, introduce somebody who has to get theirs but never does. <laughs> I mean, it's just like it's just like YouTube, right? Like, if you infuriate people, it'll make them watch more. Yeah, it's. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I hate that it's a button that people can so readily press, <laughs> and it's like, it's also bad because like, t like, even though like I get tired of premises really quickly, but like the first like steps of a zombie like apocalypse are the most interesting parts to me. So I keep I was reading. literally gonna say, like, I don't know if I would actually be interested in later uh, versions, e in later volumes, even though I liked, really liked this one, because I really like the setup of premises usually. And usually, you know, most writers are like, yeah, I have this awesome premise and I'm gonna go with it. And for zombie ones, it's really easy. And then it kind of peters off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually. Especially if the characters aren't strong enough. Would you say that the like, characters from The Walking Dead are strong enough? I've never watched it because I never got interested oh, right. in it. Gotcha. The so comic maybe is better. Something about it. But did, did you ever read it? Yeah, we read like the first volume. Remember? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll say like, like the comic is better. <laughs> that is better for longer than the show was. I guess still is because the show is still going on, but it's still not great. <laughs> I should say, if I was younger, I probably would have liked it a lot more, but I feel like I'm older to the point where, like, I re when I read it, I was like, yeah, this is a zombie thing. Yeah, this is how you set it up. Okay. Yeah, and also, uh, like, it kind of, it bypasses the first, like, couple steps of the zombie apocalypse that has the first character, or the main character in a coma for the first part of it. So, mm. yeah. Which, which is, like, what is that movie, 24 Days Later? Is that it? Oh, 28 Days? No, 28, yeah, 28 Days Later, because 28 Days is a Sandra Bullock rehab movie. So it's 28 <laughs> Days Later, and that's an important... Yes, okay. <laughs> See, I, that was one of the first zombie movies I ever saw, and I really liked that one, but I was also pretty young at the time. So. Hmm. I think that worked well. It was like, you know, a coma. I think I have to rewatch that one. I think it's been too long since I've watched it to remember too much about it. But yeah, I guess there's a there's a broad spectrum of zombie fiction that you can get into. Train to Busan. Yeah, I just twenty eight days I, later. I just watched uh, Warm Bodies for the first time. Oh yeah, that isn't one. that the one where like the power of love makes him not a zombie anymore? Yeah, so, that, that looks like dumb? a terrible movie. It, it it was not. I wouldn't say it was terrible, but it wasn't good oh okay. it was just kind of <laughs> it's a glowing review <laughs> mediocre okay uh, it was yeah, that's... that's what i mean for it <laughs> yeah i guess that's fine <laughs> yeah there uh, uh, basically what i'll say about that movie was that it didn't really let anything breathe at all and things just happened and you know mm. Gotcha. Was really explained. I just I can't get behind a zombie being like I have to save this girl. I'm yeah. Like, I, don't mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> I don't care about her. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, That's, they, they, uh... they don't really give you a reason to care about the girl either, other than the kind of relatable uh, guy zombie character likes her. Yeah, I'm trying to remember like, the do, name of anybody What does she do that makes him that like movie. her? Exists. Uh, exists, and he also ate um, her boyfriend's brains, which gave him some of his memories. Oh, so it's so not even what rebound. he remembers. <laughs> so it's like iZombie. 
Yeah, it's a little bit like iZombie. I, I forgot that they did that in that show, too. Hmm. But, yeah. but yeah, so then it's like, it's not even the feelings that he's feeling. He's feeling the boyfriend's well, no, <laughs> former he, feelings. I feel like he needs to eat a few more brains and then make up his mind. So he'll get a few more different memories and he'll well, get then, some like distance between him and her. Then he gets cured, though, so it's, it's fine. He's a human now. Uh, he still yeah, has the yeah. memories, though? I don't know. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> like, the movie's not gonna tell me. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. I feel like we may be digging too much into the premise of more bodies here. Yeah. We're giving it more thought than I think anybody else did. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the, there, there are some, like, good actors in this movie. Yeah, Nicholas that, Holt, points, apparently. Yeah, John Malkovich is in it. Dave Franco. I was is thinking Dave of Franco Adelaide the Tipton. least famous of the Franco brothers? I don't know. Wait, what? What was the question? Is Dave Franco the least famous of the Franco brothers? No, I think I the like oldest James one. Franco is... I think it's the oldest like, one that's the least famous. Huh. I mean, you don't even know his name. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I, th- I think James is the middle one. If I'm not mistaken. I, feel, I, I don't know if I'm right on that Even one. in terms of, like, fame? Because I would no, say no, James in terms would be of like more when they were born. Oh, I'm not talking about when they were born. Like that's a provable fact. I'm talking <laughs> about like opinion. Who's more famous? How many are there of them? I think there's three. Okay. The oldest, the middlest, and the littlest. Yeah. Oh, oh, Tom Franco. Okay, Tom Franco. Oh I yeah, think is Tom the Franco is definitely the least famous. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can I? Like, going back to the prom or whatever, I do find it's... I really do like the scene. Or at least I like how they re, how Veronica recounts the scene of the fact that they didn't realize that Ethel was being eaten by Jughead. Mm-hmm. They yep, were just like, was... wow, this is a cool prank. It's a little <laughs> weird, but wow, it's really real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just staring and watching... Yeah. To be fair, it was, that was like okay. I I wasn't sure because they basically Veronica said how it was. Everybody laughed, and then she was the only one who laughed. For mm. real. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that also is Veronica. She would see everybody else or see herself as the main opinion, the popular mm-hmm. opinion. Mm-hmm. I I just love the fact that he she was like, I wish you had forced me to go to Ethel's birthday parties. And her dad's like, of course you would blame it on me. <laughs> I thought, I thought yeah, that I was kind of cheesy. I, 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 I do like how she's like, man, Ethel always had those birthday parties and I would never win. Mm. I kind of suck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I okay, I, I should clarify. I liked Veronica's, like, you know, uh, thinking about that, but I didn't yeah. like that the dad spoke up. I was like, it was. It that was, was kinda... like that was just like, especially just the fact that she's his only daughter and she's like his favorite person on the planet, pretty much. And he's just like, oh, of course you'd think I would do that mm-hmm. when your friend died and got eaten alive. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Dad, I'm having a post traumatic stress breakdown right now. Oh, but it, like, yeah. Veronica doesn't seem Please to be the person be who would enjoy being forced to do anything, even yeah. if it is go to a birthday party. Yeah. With somebody like I, I guess should I should with. say it's very telling on how Veronica has turned out. The fact that her dad is probably very similar to how she is, where mm-hmm. she's like having this heartfelt, like traumatic moment recounting, and he's like being a little snarky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like yeah, that. Gotcha. That's she true. would probably do the same. Yeah. Man, that scene where freaking Archie goes to visit Jughead, and Jughead's like, yeah, don't look for hot dog. I'm doing fine. My arm is fine. Mm-hmm. I am not dying. <laughs> and promise me that you will not have my parents look for hot dog either. <laughs> <laughs> and then Archie's like, oh, all right, dude. I just realized how weird that sounds out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what's the relationship between Archie and Jughead? Are they not... I guess I kind of always assumed like they were brothers, but They're is that not friends. the case? 
No, no yeah. they're just best friends. Again, like, I do not know anything about uh, <laughs> Archie or Riverdale or this universe. I gotcha. mean, neither did I, but I picked that up from Osmosis. I knew that they were mm-hmm. best friends. They don't have the same it's... hair color. <laughs> I will continue to ask That's dumb true. questions. <laughs> um, I should say, I... Man, what was I going to say? I forget now. Oh, oh, I was going to say for Jughead, the fact that we talked about he got picked off first. Like, he literally is one of the first people to get bitten. Mm-hmm. And I think that's interesting choice. Is, and it makes sense, though, because Jughead was always the most comedic in the original comics. Like, mm-hmm. his main personality trait was being goofy and eating tons of food like that is not how he is in riverdale that, that's weird so what's the deal with the crab? i know which makes it so funny <laughs> betty you don't get it i'm a weirdo i'm oh. weird mm. i never take off this hat mm. isn't that weird and betty's like wow i'm in love with you now <laughs> <laughs> is that what <laughs> so the hat's supposed to be the crown what's the deal with the crown in the oh, like yeah. why is he wearing the crown all the time it's literally just, like, his signature look. He just I mean, likes you know, looking like he just went to a Burger King? Like, what's the... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't think... I think it's supposed to be sort of a reference like that, but... Yeah, because, I mean, I mean, I think that that's, like, basically... <laughs> you get the Burger King crown from, like, a kid's meal, basically. And so, like, he's supposed to be always seen as, like, you know, like, being foolish and young, you know? <laughs> They do. They do have the little Archie comics where they draw them as kids having kid adventures, and Jughead has the same crown. So. <laughs>